Hey everyone, welcome back. Today, we're diving deep into the music industry, specifically discussing advances, recoupment, and the often misunderstood concept of cross collateralization in record label deals. It's crucial for artists to be informed and aware of these aspects, so let's get started. All right, let's begin with music advances. When an artist signs with a record label, they often receive an advance. This advance is essentially an upfront payment and it can cover various expenses, such as recording costs, production, marketing, and even living expenses. It's like a loan from the label to the artist. Now, here's the catch. This advance isn't free money. The label expects the artist to pay it back through their music sales and royalties. This process is known as recoupment. Every cent earned through music sales goes towards paying off this advance. Only when the advance is fully recouped do the artists begin to see any significant income from their music. But here's something many artists often overlook. Labels can sometimes try to recoup more than just the advance. They might attempt to recoup various other expenses, such as manufacturing costs, advertising, marketing, and even shipping. It's crucial for artists to thoroughly review their contracts to ensure they're not overburdened with these additional costs. Now let's talk about a term that can send shivers down any artist's spine, cross-collateralization. This is a practice where the label combines the revenue and expenses from multiple projects or albums. If one album doesn't do well and doesn't recoup its expenses, the label can dip into the earnings from other projects to cover the losses. The issue here is that this can lead to a situation where even a successful album might not yield profits if other projects are in the red. It's crucial to understand the cross-collateralization clauses in your contract and, if possible, negotiate to limit or eliminate them. So, how can artists protect themselves? First, have a lawyer or music industry expert review your contract. Ensure that recoupment only applies to the advance, not every expense under the sun. Negotiate a clear and fair recoupment rate. Also, try to limit or eliminate cross-collateralization clauses. If you want more control over your music and finances, you might consider the independent or DIY route. This way, you're responsible for your expenses, but you also get to keep a more significant portion of your earnings. To sum it up, understanding advances, recoupment and cross-collateralization is essential for any artist navigating the music industry. Remember to carefully read and negotiate your contracts or consider the independent route for more control. Knowledge is power, and being informed about these concepts will help you make better decisions in your music career. If you found this information helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more content on the music industry, artist tips, and much more. Thanks for joining us today, and until next time, keep making great music and stay informed.